LNS is here for you with 6 News at 6. He's accused of taking the money and running, but tonight a local tree trimmer speaks out to share his side of the story. It's our top story at 6. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren Thompson. Sherry is off tonight. It's a story 6 News first told you about yesterday, right here on 6 News at 6. Two women told us they paid a man to trim their trees, but then he disappeared after taking hundreds of dollars in down payments. Tonight, that man is speaking out, hoping to explain. Luke Snyder talked to him today. He's here for you now live in our studio. Luke, what did he have to say? Born J.D. Gibson is the owner of JNL Tree Service. It's a small company he says he started a year ago. He tells me he's heard the complaints, and he blames the delay on his broken equipment. My lift is still broke, and I've even tried renting one, and I can't rent one anywhere. It takes time to get things done, and I've, I've had to push a lot of people off because of employees don't want to work, or, you know, they, they screw stuff up and I have to fire them, and, you know, I, never my intention to screw anybody. That's what J.D. Gibson is saying tonight after multiple women have come forward with complaints about his company dating back as far as February. He just hasn't answered or responded at all. He's just completely ghosted me. Questions we raised to Gibson. There was one person in February that said you're supposed to come out in February and you still haven't come in. What, what I think happened there is I was supposed to go out there and my lift was broke again and I think I forgot about her. With weeks and even months gone by, at this point, most just want their money back. I don't even want him to do the work. I just want my uh, $1,300. Gibson says he's having a hard time finding equipment because of competition in the business. But Gibson tells 6 News he plans to give everyone a call. If they want their money back, he will give it to them. No problem. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Or if they want the job done. And tonight, Gibson says he has a message for anyone who feels misled. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to try to screw you in any way or try to make you upset. And, you know, I, I plan on making it right 100% because I don't want any bad blood with anybody. You know, and I just, I feel really bad that this has went this far. We reached out to several of the women today who say as of now they have not heard from Gibson, and they still don't expect to. We will continue to follow this story and bring you updates if and when Gibson does follow through with what he told us today. Lauren. Thank you for that, Luke. Well, new tonight here at 